So today we're looking at a cordless drill here. This is from Savem. This is a little 12 volt cordless drill. For many homeowners, this could be a great option for if you're looking for a fairly inexpensive, but yet versatile little cordless drill. The battery on this is replaceable as far as you can remove it and put it in a different one. And again, it is a 18 watt, um, 1.5 amp hour battery, 12 volt. That's a lot of information that for most homeowners just doesn't matter. What really matters for you is a couple of couple of things. First off, once I have it in, I have a battery indicator right there. I can see how much battery I have. I have a little light that's going to help me see where I'm working. I've got the ability to push in the center is neutral or as far as it's locked so it doesn't go. I can go forward and backwards depending upon which way I want to go. This is forward, this is back. I have a clutch and it goes from all the way down one, which is barely any pressure whatsoever, all the way up to drilling, which is a, and you can't go there, you got to go all the way around. But it also has a drill, if we go with this digital layer, and it gives you full power. Now, the charger on this one, it isn't a special, special little kit pack or anything. It's a little, uh, kind of a, a little invert or wall wart here that plugs in. And what's nice is that the LED right here will tell you when it's fully charged. It also comes with a little a little carry bag. So you've got that with you, your instructions. And then it has a few drill bits, which for most homeowners, is gonna get you pretty close to where you need to be. You've got a couple of wood bits in here, and then you've got a couple of uh, soft metal bits. And then you have your little your little holder, and you've got a different variety of uh, of different bits here also for driving. You've got your standard screwdriver, you've got your Phillips screwdriver, and then you have some star bit, a few star bit in here. And I think you've actually got a, yeah, a little bit of a hex, a hex there at the end. But that's what's in the box. Now the big thing with these is how much torque can it give me? Can it actually do a job? So we're gonna take this out and we're gonna do a little test on this. So let's head right outside and do some things with this. All right, so we've got the save them here and what we're gonna do is we're going to run this these little legs right here. I'm going to run a lag in here with the, the Savum drill. I've got my little little bit, and we're going to put that in and give it a oops, back out. We're going to put the little bit in the chuck here, get it all set. And then we've got to crank this way up. We're going to crank this all the way up to the drill level, which is all the way. We're going to put it down into a slow speed so we can drive this into the log and see how well this is going to work. Okay, making sure it's on camera. Good. Here, let's go. And it drives it right on in. So there it is. You saw the save them, put it in. It went in very, very well. I was really surprised. It had a, a really good torque. This is not an easy wood, especially going into the grain. And the grains are fairly tight in that area for this type of wood. So it, it turned out really quite well. I'm very impressed with it. And I think for the homeowner who's looking for something that they can have around and use uh, for small projects. This could be a great option. And it comes in two different colors. You're looking at the pink and it also comes in a baby blue. We'll put a link to the description below so you can go check this out online. This is John Young. Thanks for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.